So learning and development usually has a limited budget. And one of the challenges then with that is where do you allocate your money? What do you focus on? And when I work with clients to create a learning strategy, we do an assessment up front to analyze the organization's goal and how learning can support it. We look at the audience and we look at the environment. Then we summarize that analysis and then we start saying, okay, what are we going to do next? And I like to think of two parts of that, possibilities and priorities. And possibilities is that divergent thinking where you're thinking really big. What are all the things we could do? We have our set of recommendations and it includes all of these things. And what does that look like in terms of time and, and dollars, quite frankly? So it's brainstorming what the strategy might support. Priorities also is important, and that's when we're saying, okay, we've brainstormed all of these ideas, what do we need to really focus on? So it's convergent thinking instead of divergent thinking. And that's where kind of the rubber hits the road or where we need to get real with what's the work effort, what can we possibly do budget-wise, resource-wise, and even the employees in our organization, what are they uh, ready to take on and adopt if there's going to be a lot of change? So it's important to do both. And um, I thought I'd share the possibilities and priorities as a way of just framing those two. Um, and I'm curious about what possibilities you're considering, uh, what priorities you're focused on. And if you're not sure, how might a learning strategy help you navigate that and make some decisions that are going to support the organization's goals and direction? <music>